Hello and welcome to the top eight of GP Amsterdam. We have Alexander Mertens on the left with Black Green Energy and Arjen van Leuven on Red Green, Pummeler on the right. It's Alexander Mertens who finished higher in the Swiss in fourth place, so he's going to play against uh, uh, Arjen van Leuven. He will have the advantage of going first, and he's trying to put that to his advantage. Turn one, Green Bale Ramperger, generate one energy. Let's see if Arjen van Leuven can match this tempo. Yeah, this is not the matchup uh, Arion was hoping for. I think it, it Black Green is quite a tough matchup, especially uh, Walking Ballista is mm. just very good against uh, Pummeler. Yeah, definitely. If you we saw it before, Lucas Blahan with his winding constrictor and Ballista really uh, could strain the resources of, of the Pummeler deck, uh, who who then has to use some of the um, pump spells defensively rather than offensively, and that just creates uh, big problems. But there's uh, various ways for the Pummeler deck to win as well. It also plays Bristling Hydra. It has Voltaic Brawler, l l Long Tusk Cup as well. All these really efficient beaters. And there's a Servant of the Conduit. It's a nice way to accelerate maybe into something like a Bristling Hydra Fast. Yeah, I feel like the story of this, this tournament so far is just just do something consistently. The Red-Green Pummeler is quite consistent. And so is the th are the Black-Green deck. They, they, they do not uh, count on one card uh, making up their plan. They just have different, different creatures, all very effective, all in the same plan of killing your opponent by attacking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alexander Mertens uh, cycle the center's deliverance on three, turn three here. I'm probably digging for land. Does he have anything here? Oh, adds a mana. Okay, has another green belt rampager. But he's going to return it to his hand because it's only as an energy generator. No third land though and passes the turn. It's going to be over quickly. Yeah, against a deck like red green pummeler, you really cannot miss too many land drops. So he's, he's, uh, he's fortunate that Arjan van Leeuwen's fourth land comes into play tap. Mm. So that he does not get to play a, a bristling Hydra just yet, uh, but he he really needs to find that that third land rather quickly. Yeah, some good cards. There's the long tusk cub that uh, Aryan is putting to the front. He's probably going to try to go into a bit of a race here. Uh, Attack with the servant of the conduit uh, to hit back. But we know Alexander Mertens uh, at worst, even if he doesn't draw land, the worst he can do he's going to play a, a gr another green bell that rampager, which is uh, decent uh, decent enough on this board. Uh, look at that, no land, but two winding constrictors. Lots of good cards, but no swamps or uh, no black-green dual lands for Alexander Mertens. This is going to be a tough game for Alexander. You really, in a race, you just cannot stumble on anything. You cannot be flooded, because then you stumble on, on playing early creatures, and being mana screwed is probably even worse. Mm. Uh, at least he's got these two rampagers, but uh, I don't know. Uh, he, he, he already has to stop attacking there. Uh, at least the Rampagers are quite good on defense. That's that's one thing he's got going. Mm. Yeah, but now the... I mean, Iron Van Leeuwen, if he finds a way to generate energy, the the Long Tusk Cup can already threaten to be a 4-4. A, a uh, which but can ta take down at least one of the Rampagers. Yeah, but at, as long as he's got two, he can still double block, and then it will cost uh, Aryan four energy and the Long Tusk Cup to, to get rid of one Rampager. So that's mm, actually fine. Uh, and a card like larger larger than life is a great card, but it's a sorcery. Mm -hmm. So you can you as long as there's no pummeler, you can pretty much play around it by just uh, taking the four damage or the the, the damage there. Uh, I if it would have been an instant, that it could have been <laughs> crucial. Like imagine Alexander double blocking with Rampager and then Arian playing the plus four plus four at instant, uh, and then pump some more just to get rid of both the Rampagers. That would have been insane but yeah. now it's still fine i think yeah it's bristling hydra time also generating more energy so that's five total even the hydra is not that problematic hmm. i mean it's it has For to now. grow quite big before it can uh, can take down a <laughs> double a double rampager geez alexander mertens draws a card it's not a land it's yet another winding constrictor you would think more snakes are are better here but no without a mana source there's not much that alexander mertens can do here uh he might have a long tusk cup though at least get something on the board and i uh, this game is still not over yet i mean if there was electrostatic pump i'd be more worried for for alexander mertens but uh, as it is right now the board is still relatively stable here for both players and i think we will see an attack here from Arion with the with the hydra and maybe even the long tusk cup yeah, possibly he has uh, he has another bristling hydra is a voltaic brawler too long to scup still has a bunch of creatures o his only pump spells are the invigorate rampage and uh, larger than life so there's another hydra 
up to up I to like eight. I think I like attacking here with the cup and the Hydra. Uh, Alexander Merchants pretty much has to double block if he wants to kill either of these creatures. And if uh, from the moment Aryan can get rid of one of the Rampagers, he can he can start attacking with much more. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems like he's just saying go and still no land <laughs> for Alexander. Yeah, I also see Fatal Push, Rishkar, so many good cards. Uh, has to pass by. I think he has eight cards in his hand, does he not? No, no, it looks like it's yeah, it's strange. Looks like it's seven after all. There's a mountain for Arian van uh, van Leeuwen. 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 Yeah, he was actually r really Ar Arian from the Lions. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty cool name. I never realized. Yeah, when I tried to uh, when I tried to pronounce the name in front of him, he, he got quite uh, sensitive about it. It's not an easy name to pronounce. All right, so there's a, a Voltaic Brawler. And just both players just developing that. I think he, both players are, are a bit scared. All right, I don't think Arian's going to be attacking this turn because he's tapping out before combat. Oh, okay. Never mind. Bam. <laughs> Larger than life on Long Tusk Cup. So plus four, plus four and Trample. That's a, that's a six, six. And oh, now they, that now they move in. Okay. I like it. He still has kind of, uh, we know that he has the invigorated rampage in his hand and uh, with the Servant of the Conduit and the uh, Shelter Thicky, he can still actually play it. And I quite like the mode that invigorated rampage actually allows to either pump one creature plus four plus zero oh and trample, but it can also give two creatures each uh, plus two plus zero. Oh. Yeah, and I'm liking, I'm liking the, there, there we have it. Gremli Gremlins can change from pest to Ah, can't read it. Problem to pass to plague in the span of a moment. Yeah. yeah. You love these your flavor text, I know that. Yeah, these gremlins, they're going to pump up some creatures here. This is going to be quite a, a problematic game for, for Alexander. Yeah, and, uh, already lining up those uh, double blocks there. So, blocks, double blocks the h one of the hydras. Yeah, how much? The six? Yeah, if, if, he if he pumps it here, he can kill both of the rampagers while still dealing at least... But he's dead. Ten? Uh, no, no, he's dead. He's dead, right? If he blocks like that, he's yeah. dead. Yeah, just pump the bristling hider with a rampage. That's eight on its own. Uh, so that's ba Martin's at basically ten. And the uh, long tusk cup is already a six, six tenths to larger than life. So he just needs to pump it four times. And he even has two energy to spare. Yeah. How fortunate. Well, he needs one energy to to play the that's rampage. That's true. That's true. But st he's still fine. Yeah. He. All right. So he's gonna play it slow here. Pump long tusk cup once. Remember, it has larger than life. It has already been played on the cub. There's another counter. He keeps on going. That that long tusk cup is larger than life. <laughs> oh yeah. Seven, nine, nine long tusk cup. Nine, nine plus four. So. Ten, ten, fourteen, ten long tusk cup. Bam. Yeah. There we go. Spends, yep, divides the plus two, plus two, plus two, plus O oh and trample. No. So make it a bigger cub. <laughs> now, so the, just the cub is... Just a 1210. Just a casual 1210. And the uh, Bristing Hider is a, is a six, a six, three. Oh, uh, the handshake after game one. Guys, get it together. <laughs> Arjen van Leeuwen. 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 Uh, get uh, the game win uh, in the uh, first game. They're still not done yet. They still have a, at least one more game to go here. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe Alexander just congratulated on uh, Aryan on getting such a big uh, yeah like eighteen well, eighteen life in one turn. Good, well yeah, done, congratulations! Well done, well done. All right, there. Well, I hope we're going to see more of this Pummeler deck. Uh, we'll be back uh, after these messages.
Welcome back to GP Amsterdam 2017. We're in the middle of our top eight, and we see Alexander Merton sideboarding because he's down against against Arjan van Le uh, Leeuwen. Leeuwen. <sighs> I'll never get Keep it. practicing. And I thought I, I, I'm so good Just at these things. Say Arjan from the Lions. Okay. Arjan the Lion. Arjan the Lion. I like uh, that. Arjan one. of the Lions, I yeah. would say, right? Yeah. All right. So, what is Arjan working with here? Uh, his cyborg, he's got one Ronas the Indomitable. Wouldn't be too surprised to see that one come Yeah, that, that seems great. Uh, one Harness Lightning, I like that one as well. And maybe two Chandra Torch of Defiance. Uh, sure. The card he's bringing out, I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, does he really want to bring out his Pummeler? He could. I mean, it, it's kind of weak against uh, mm. uh, Walking Ballista. He already has two Ronas the Indomitable in his deck. Wow. Yeah. That's he pretty sweet. The Cobra King. I mm. like it a lot. <laughs> uh, it works pretty well if you have so many big creatures. W we're usually you'll your Long Tusk Cup will be big enough or your Bristling Hydra so that the uh, Ronas can uh, actually attack. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, on Alexander Merton's side, uh, pretty classic deck. I would I would imagine he's we're going to board in some more removal. He has Fatal Push, Grasp of Darkness, Never to Return. Uh, I'm not sure about Yehenny's expertise. Probably it's not. Yeah, it seems a bit too slow. Uh, especially because most of the creatures from Arian can actually get bigger than the mm. than the tree toughness. Uh, I think Yahani's expertise is more there against the, the red white human decks, and mm. don't even like it that against zombies. It's pretty sure. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah against zombies, I, I can see it being very good. Uh, maybe Gonti seems like you know a decent enough. Yeah, so at least he can trade with anything. Tyler Shrek seems okay as well, but the problem would be what what would he be boarding out? And uh, he has a lot of options there. Nissa, Voice of Zendikar, maybe. And some uh, Dissenter's Deliverance, uh, even though it, they, they kill Electrostatic Pummeler, and you can I cycle like them. I like keeping the Dissenter's Deliverance. Yeah. I think it's a, a cheap answer to Electrostatic Pummeler. And you, you, either, yeah, you either die or live by the Pummeler. <laughs> it, it, it's such a... If you cannot control it in th against this deck with Larger Than Life, Blossoming Defense, Invigorated Rampage, and so many ways to, to generate energy, uh, there... It's easily a 36-36, to be fair. Hmm. All right. So uh, players are getting ready f to to start game two here. There might be... Uh, oh, yeah, just finishing sideboarding for Alexander. He just wants to make sure he has the right configuration. And to be fair, it's just not an easy decision of wha wha how to um, like adjust your deck because compared to, I would say, compared to the black-green Delirium Constrictor version, this the energy deck relies much more on synergy. So it's much harder. You can't really bring out too many energy cards because they they all feed each other. So the sideboarding also gets a little bit, li little bit more challenging, I would say, for Fox and Mertens. But we'll see what he can find here. Did, did he go to the toilet? <laughs> Just like disappear? I don't know. Don't see anything moving there. Maybe a question to the judge. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe like a rules question. Yeah, yeah. he's there. All right. Alright, so last couple of shuffles and uh, we'll get ba right back on track. So for those of you just joining us for the top eight, welcome. It's lovely to have you. It's me and Moraine LeBaire in the booth. You also got Riley Knight back up. He's going to be back in for the semifinals with me. Um, we have uh, in the top eight, we, we're now watching Alexander Mertens against Arjan van Leeuwen. Uh, he's facing uh, the winner of this match will face off against the winner of Jelko Bodevis against Lucas Bluhan. And on the other side of the bracket with Michael Morici from Australia, actually. Uh, facing off against Rafael Kors and then Thomas Hendrick against Benjamin Luft. So uh, th that's the other side of the bracket and we'll hopefully we'll get to see as much magic as possible. As player, Both players have kept seven. That was fast. And Alexander Mertens has a Blooming Marsh. He has a, a, a tune with Ether and I saw another land. So he, he looks to have his mana well set up for this game, unlike the, the previous one. And I'm curious to see what Arjen van Leeuwen has come to play with. His deck can be really explosive. Yeah. The only, well, bad thing, it's not really a bad thing, but the only minor issue with the red-green pummeler is that it doesn't have many one-drops. Uh, it mm -hmm. might actually have zero. Uh, with an, for an aggressive deck, that's actually quite problematic if you don't have any one-drops. Uh, the only card you can actually play on turn one is the magma spray in his cyborg. And well, a tune with Eater, yeah. I guess that, that, that's his one drop. Doesn't really count, right, no. does it? All right. And that, it was an interesting spot here for Aryan because he, I think he could have played Forest and a tune with Eater, but actually decided to play a, a Sheltered Thicket first. And it's matched by a uh, um, Winding Constrictor on turn two from Alexander Mertens, the, exactly the way he want, uh, such decks wants to start because our Alexander's synergies uh, go with counters, go with energy, and uh, turn two Snake is exactly what he needs. 
Picking exactly what he needs. Arian van Luver on the draw, managing to play a turn to Servant of the Conduit. Not only develops his energy, but also his mana. And I think I saw a Chandra and another electrostatic pummel in his hand, so he'll, he'll definitely find a use for the, for the extra mana here. Let's see if Alexander Mergens can, can break up these synergies with the pummeler and the pump spells. Small trivia question. Can you guess how old Arjen van Leeuwen is? I've, I've read it. You've read it already? Yeah. <sighs> Close to 50. Uh, 48 years old, Arjen van Leeuwen is still rocking it. I called him the veteran earlier, and he's... Uh, he's more than a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Ooh, three energy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, turn turn one a tune, and then uh, Winding Constrict, and Ether Hub generates an extra energy. Yeah, Ether Sphere Harvester generates an extra energy. So he's already up to seven in the early game. That must feel nice. Now Aryan, tough decisions. This also has uh, Ether Hub of his own. Uh, thinking about Chandra here. Chandra is fine, but it's not that back breaking because of the Harvester. Yeah. He's probably going to kill the, the Constrictor, which is like okay, but it's only a four mana removal spell. And yeah. your opponent just, c he only needs one creature. He could hope that Alexander doesn't have another creature, but that would be. Not very likely. Yeah, I would. Uh, I wouldn't think so. Uh, Alexander Merton still has plenty of cards. As we see, Chandra Torch of da Defiance being pulled up there, using the minus three ability of dealing four damage to target creature. I was hoping Aaron could maybe do some fancy things, maybe plus uh, and get mana, do something else. But unfortunately, no. And then Alexander Merton's plays a tireless track, one of the cards of this weekend, and uh, that will enable um, Alexander to crew his Ether Sphere Harvester and. Uh, Getting, uh, getting for some damage and kill the Chandra in combat. Also spending an energy, gain some life back. Yeah, Alexander has got quite a draw here. Uh, turn two Constrictor, turn three Harvester, turn four Tidal Striker, play a land. Uh, make sure that he's got enough gas for the late game. Also puts up enough pressure and now gets to kill the Chandra. So uh, it's going to be a tough game for uh, Arian. He will need a very big uh, Pamela. He does already have it and a way to protect it, but he has not found it. Uh, a way to pump it. Yeah, the only thing he has is Blossoming Defense, which is actually great with the Pummel because you can protect it very nicely. And uh, um, but he only uh, the rest of the cards in his hand is only creatures, so he doesn't really have the synergy going on. And I think that's the reason why he went for Chandra uh, last turn rather than the Pummel because he knew that he w even if he drew another pump spell, he still wouldn't have enough to go for the uh, the one turn kill. So might as well play out. Uh, his other cards now. You see Long Tusk Cup, Servant of the Conduit, Voltaic Brawler. All good cards. Let's see what he starts with. You're already seeing much more of a game than the previous one when both players have their mana can develop, develop it properly. Here's Long Tusk Cup from, uh, from Aryan and Leuven. He has uh, five energy left. Alexander Merton has still plenty of cards to work with. He can get even more with, the cl with those clues. That's why Tireless Tracker is, uh, is a beast here. And really make sure you're drawing gas throughout the game. There's the Long Tusk Cup as well. Decent enough with six energy already built up. 16 Long Tusk Cup in the... Oh, do they all... Ah, no, the Black Green doesn't actually run. No. no. So J only just 12? 12, yeah. yeah. Might be some some in the sideboard of the Marvel list. We've seen uh, seen that before. Uh, no, no, no one scopes in the Marvel list. Oh well. Sixteen snakes though. Ooh. All right, fatal push. That's what's been hiding in Oxen Merchant's hand. Takes care of the long tusk cup, and now uh, gets to swing in. He cannot really attack with it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, now that he doesn't have open mana, he does have another fatal push. Like if he really wanted to, he could, he can make way for uh, for his tireless track, and he's going to do it. He just wants to make way for harvester and tireless track to swing in for six and be on the front foot. Yeah, he's gonna activate the harvester as well. It seems, spend one energy, give it lifelink. So swing for six. Alex and Mertens up to twenty-six. Now Ivan Lubin already on the back foot here. 
a bit surprised to see him attack with the tireless tracker rather than the long tusk cup i think generating some more energy mm. instead of that one damage well, wouldn't have been too bad he only played long tusk cup this turn oh yeah that that's why that makes sense it does good thing you're that's why i'm here no worries no worries i got you now uh, we've already I, i've seen crazier things this weekend like uh, honestly this format is there's so many triggers like you know those, those tireless trackers uh creating clues and all those energy cards creating some sort of energy uh, I think I've seen like 10 missed either works Marvel's triggers when you know the players something on their board died and didn't get the energy. This is really a format where you have to be very dil diligent about the cards that you have and uh, so that you don't miss any and even the slightest thing because it can really get, really cost you. I talked to Ivan Flo who started out very strongly after day one. He was eight and one. And day two didn't really go that well. He went two and four. And uh, he was saying, like, he felt like if he played a little tighter, a little better, like, he could have turned three of the four losses into wins, he thought. And uh, it, he said he, there weren't really any glaring mistakes. It was more like, yeah, just a little bit more. If, if I if I try to play around this card rather than the other card, I, I he could have gotten there. So um, this format really, no matter what people say, there's a lot of uh, play involved in all of them. So we see our infant living played the his namesake card, uh, Red uh, Pummeler, Electrostatic Pummeler. Yeah, uh, for those of you who are, who are huge fans of uh, of the card Fling, our infant living do uh, doesn't. He's not. He does not play any flings. I'm Come sorry. Come on. No, no flings here. So disappointing. <laughs> No, he thought it was probably a little bit too too win more. And no double strike instant either. <laughs> Come on, Arian, get your game together. <laughs> well, to be fair, you don't really need fling when your pummeler is already a twenty twenty. Exactly. Yeah. That, I think that that's the point. I would <laughs> rather have something that generates three energy at that point to make yeah. it a forty forty. Exactly. And you can find find those for two mana. You can just play more harness lightnings, or something similar. All right. So, uh, Alex Merton still has uh, has some cards to work with here. He also has the clue in play. Plenty of energy, the long test cub. He, he's probably a little scared, though. You know, you, when you sit there, 24 life is... You think it's safe, but against the Pummeler deck, it's actually not. It can turn around really fast. Yeah, it certainly can. Larger than life. Pum Pum, that's already 20. Yeah, exactly. He's on, he's on 8 energy. Uh, Aryan, we know Aryan already has uh, the Blossom Defense to protect his Pummeler from removal. I think he just needs another Pump Spell to, to really put the screw on. Or at least, yeah, Pump, pump Spell or at least something that also generates energy. Yeah, Alexander Mertens, what are you going to play here? You want to see it. Is he going to never return? Feels like he's going. Ooh, yeah, he's going for it. Not yeah. really sure if I like going for it before the attack because this actually yeah. blossoming defense. Now it's a three three means that the the tracker nor the cus cup can really attack. Or the cup can attack, but yeah, would, uh, I think Arian would just block there and pump his guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because now it's a th three three with hexproof. And remember, Arian has eight. Uh, Eight energy in his mouth. Would you think there was a point making uh, uh, of Alex Sander Martin thinking I'll attack so that he spends the energy on defense yes, rather than offense? Certainly, uh, the long toss cup is not that important for for Alexander Mertens, so I wouldn't really mind him doing that. Yeah, he's he's certainly getting in with the harvester. Is he also getting in with the cup? I I uh, wouldn't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it either. No, but he he leaves it back. All right, so the harvester swings in. One energy spent for some uh, lifelink. Merton's up to 27 here. At least uh, the the blossoming defense is out of uh, Aryan's hand now. Yeah, there you see the harvester, um, uh, a vehicle that's been in and out of favor all the time. Uh, you know, f uh, fought with the uh, cultivator's caravan for the three slot uh, slot in the vehicles decks. Now the harvester uh, have made a comeback. Which is kind of surprising because even in the four color versions, they are preferring Harvester over mm. Caravan. No, where you would think that Caravan, the f ability to fix mana, would be relevant. Like there you see also the Electrostatic Pamela, the namesake card. Let's see what four mana brings for Arya van Leeuwen. Uh, he has a Bristling Hydra, okay. More energy. 
give us some larger than life or invigorate. Yeah, more range. energy, 12 energy now. So that's actually four activation of the pummel. So any any small pump spell uh, just would spell absolute death for Alex and Mertens, even at 27 life. Larger than life, make it a 5-5, 10-10, 20-20, 40-40. That's already 80, 80. He could go big. Oh, please. One time. Five. Double it 10, double it 20, double it 40, double it 80. Oh man, that would be that would be amazing. That would be pummel time. But that's what the deck's uh, that's what the deck's about, right? So, come on, Aryan, don't disappoint us. Don't <laughs> disappoint the viewers. I mean, he, uh, Alexander Martin still uh, will have something to say about that. He has three clues. He has that harvester. I remember, he can a larger than life that gives plus four, plus four, and trample yeah. for two mana. It's a sorcery, though. Invigorated Rampage is an instant that gives plus four, plus uh, O, and trample. So that works as well. And But Oxen Mertens is digging for removal here. Sacks a clue, pumps the tracker. No removal, Alexander. No, no. <laughs> we want to see big pummel. Pummel daddy. No, don't you dare to tap. No, Three no. mana. No, no. Another tracker, or, or is there never to return? Yeah, put that card away. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> he did put it away. He's going to probably hit him with the Harvester first, and he's going to go for a Rish that, card that's here. That's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. Okay. All right, so plays a Rish card. Gets a, a counter. Oh, okay. He wanted to make the Harvester a bit bigger. Doesn't really change the clock, though. We have an Aryan Zone 9. He still has the needs three attacks to kill him. Maybe if he uh, gives him maybe some uh, some more outs if he draws like another rich car or something. All right, so I would a I would actually uh, put a, a counter on the long tusk cup because it mm -hmm. can that tap, tap tap for mana. He could have end of turn sacrifice a clue. Uh, yep. Uh, if we get there, but uh, the harvester swings for four here. We should put our, our in down to five. Come on, one time dealer. I don't think he. Even used energy to to pump it oh! up. Oh! Did he draw it? Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did. Look at that. I no, you're winding me up. No. No, he did. I it was just so fast. I swear to God, eighty. Is it, are we gonna see the eighty? Eighty, you. The full eighty. Oh, mama. Bumble time. Boom! Invigorated rampage. Five one trampler. For now. Swing with everything. Come on, Aryan. Don't slow roll us. <laughs> Alexander's like, what is this card? Let me check. All right. Plus four, plus zero. On the pummeler. Five, one. Hey, come on, Aryan. Just just swing in with everything. Come on. Bam. Don't slow roll us. This is game, boys. This will be game, boys, indeed. 12 energy lurking. Yeah, after the life totals. Uh, 31 life. You think you're safe? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Because uh, you have a 5 1, then you uh, pump it once. It's a uh, uh, plus 5 plus 5, so 10 6, pump it again, 20 power, pump it again, 40 power, and pump it again, 80 power. So it's 80 76, is that correct? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that long dust cup, not larger, not, <laughs> not big enough. <laughs> We're sorry. Are you sure you're blocking? All right, pump. Yeah, 10 power. Pump, 20 power. Pump, 40 power. It's even enough pump, already. Pump, 80 power. Pump the pummeler, pump, pump, pump. 80, 76. Trample. Alexander Mertens. Do you have something? No, you don't. Arya van Leeuwen takes it with an 80 power electrostatic pummeler in the quarterfinals of GP Amsterdam. What a rip there from <laughs> Arya, right? It's like the perfect moment for the yeah, camera. We love it. This is great. This is great. He could have also, could he, was Ronas enough? He didn't have enough mana. Might no, have no, been no. enough to turn after. Yeah, sure, sure. But still, it's, that was pretty amazing. All right. This is this was amazing. Arian Fedlin showing the power of the of the Pummeler deck. Yeah. You know, in some in some matchups you can just play out your guys and put some pressure on. In some matchups you can just go for the jugular right away. All I love it. All you need is twelve energy. All you need is twelve energy. Yeah, people <laughs> just 
12 advantage casually. Yeah. But I mean, that's kind of what the deck is built, about, uh, built around. Ooh, we get to ga get to see game three between Yelko Bo Davis and Lucas Blohan. And uh, it's already, yeah, we're deep into game three here. One uh, one game each. And Verger's Gearhawk, so many counters. Look at that. Vining Constructor, five power. Uh, Tyler Stacker, five power. Yelko is down to seven. Does he have Marvel? Yeah, Can Mar he? Marvel's got removed by Dispossess. Oh, well, he, has ju he just has a bunch of Ulamogs in his hand. He uh, this is the big. this is the plan of uh, okay we're over, okay just some couple of chump boxes but uh, remember the Verger's Gilhog also has trample there's also Hissing Quagmire that could provide to be relevant. Oh, he does have. He, he can still survive, next I think. Next turn it's Ulamog time. Re already? Oh, he's two shrines. Whoa! This is a game and a half. Uh, look at that. Lucas still has plenty of clues here, so maybe he can find something uh, to fight his way through the Platinum Pro. He really wants those pro points. He's hunting for platinum again. Hasn't won a pro tour this year yet. Not yet. Did he win one last year? He uh, he Didn't actually won the one in Sydney. He did. Holy. Yeah. That was pro tour uh, Eldritch Moon uh, with black white control beating Owen Turtonwall in oh the yeah. finals. As he himself said, one of the worst decks to win a pro tour. Here we have it, Shrine of the Forsaken yeah, Gods. Thank you for pulling that up, Riley. Yeah, because remember, add two uh, to your mana pool, spend his mana to only cast colorless spells. He already uh, uh, controls six lands for now, but he's no, going to control s seven, eight, nine. Oh, he's one short. Yeah. Oh, you, you were setting uh, me yeah, up. I up. You always did, man. I right, really right. right. Yeah. Stay, I believe he is. I you get a look, but no three. Uh, uh, keeps on sacrificing clues, digging. But we, I was really looking, uh, was really looking forward to seeing an Ulamog with two Shrine of the Gods. But we might just not get there. Ah, Yelkobo Davis, look at that. He, he already knows, like, the time of reckoning is upon him. And he needs two extra turns. Not just one, he needs two extra turns. Yeah, that sensor is not going to do it there. Oh, he found an ETH. Oh, found a Harness Lightning. But he needs a lot of, it. well... Yeah. Double Chump plus Harness Lightning could actually get him where he wants. All right, so he at least he's gonna go for two thopters here. He can also let through to one more time. He's at seven, takes six, go down to one. Yeah, he need he needs to spend uh, an energy to get red mana from the ether hub. Uh, that, that's a uh, that's a bit un unfortunate, but it still means he could kill the Verger's Gil Hulk, uh, chump chump, and then he just needs to draw. He needs to play a land and another chump clicker. There's well, yeah, three three six. That's enough to kill the. The Gearhawk, it's actually quite a grasp of darkness. Ooh. That's not going to do it. It actually, well, he, Lucas can actually uh, kill the Virtuoso, right? Yeah. Next turn. Yeah, and then he'll still have two big creatures. And, uh, yeah, we know Yelko. We did the math again on these lands after, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Moraine with the decoy there. Uh, hyping him. Maybe if he has another shrine, he can do it. Yeah, that would thing. Does he run three? Two main? No, two in the main. Oh, Just two in the main. I then I have I have hyped myself up here. Uh, he's okay, that Lucas. He could descend just the clue, just in one draw. Yeah, same. Just get up the easy blockers from uh, Yelko, and then next turn. Oh, look, hmm. look at that. Two monks, forest, and forest, but with uh, no ways to generate energy. Uh, look, but the thing is, he's still very much a uh, constrictor. Oh, constrictor is only seven, yeah, but, but there's also his quagmire. Lucas play. has traversed the oval wall, so he can search up another Verdurous Gearhawk. Yeah, he can also. He also has the grasp for the virtuals, all right. I mean, he has so many ways to win. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're having a bit of a technical problem, as I see by the chat. It's probably the 80 power electrostatic yeah. pummer that crashed the Two. stream. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna be right back out, and we try. You're gonna try to fix these issues. Too much electricity going on there. Grasp of darkness. All right, so we we try to go with not resetting because it looks like we're stable. Chad is saying we're stable, we're fixed. Okay, we're good now. So we didn't even get to hype uh. up the end of the match. But Lucas Blahan, the Platinum Pro, gets past the only Marvel deck in the top eight. There was a whole lot of Marvel decks on day two here in Amsterdam, but now they're all eliminated. The world is not ending. It's okay. No need to ban Marvel either. 
We got that out of the way. <laughs> so we got Red Green Pummeler up against Black Green Delirium in Whew. the semifinals. That's going to be a good one. All right, and uh, yeah, we, we have uh, so Lucas Blonde winning two two to one over Yelko Budevis. We saw Arjan van Loven pummel his way through some creatures and get to the semifinals himself. And we got uh, two more matches. We uh, we don't really know the current status, but we, of course we'll try to bring you as much magic as as we possibly can. We just don't know the the current. Uh, state of them we might have to move some people around uh get them seated if possible but we'll figure it out soon enough so stay tuned all right so everyone's okay so everyone's done so we'll give you results uh so okay so let me let me look at that so we have michael morici defeating uh, rafael Kors. so esper vehicles beating black green energy and we also have the last result where it was thomas hendrick against benjamin luft so we're waiting on that result. It was blue-red control from Benjamin Luft playing against Thomas Hendricks, uh, the Dutchman. Actually, three Dutchmen in the top eight. Uh, quite a performance there. All oh, right. Oh, actually, Thomas Hendricks losing. So that's blue-red control in the semifinals. Wow. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the updates here from uh, from our crew here behind the uh, behind the the monitors and so on. So that's it for the quarterfinals. We got Arjen van Leeuwen against Lucas Blohan, and we have got the Australian Michael Moore. Ricci against Benjamin Luft, and uh, that was f thick and fast. I mean, 